So the challenge is actually getting people to modify their behaviors. And so uh, what I've done is really looked at why people act the way that they do, what they prioritize, what they vote on. And the number one issue people vote on in the United States, Democrat or Republican, black or white, rural or urban, consistently is jobs in the economy. And so it's why one of my big pushes has been working with the Federal Reserve Bank, working with other business folks to figure out how we can speak in a language that resonates with folks. And I'll tell you a really quick story that I think drives home that point. I was at the US Conference of Mayors. I had Mayor Bill de Blasio on one side. I had um, Mayor Benjamin from South Carolina on the other side, and about 50 mayors in the room. And uh, I wanted to know what made them tick. So I asked these mayors, how many of you all ran for office on a pledge to lower your community's hemoglobin A1C rates by 15%? <laughs> and I was shocked. Not a single person raised their hand. <laughs> But that's the challenge. We have Aspen Ideas Festivals, and we have Robert Wood Johnson convenings, and we have National Academy of Medicine talks where all of us health folks sit in a room, and we come up with great programs that move the needle on health. And then we go out into the public and say, we've got a great program that's going to lower your hemoglobin A1C rates by 15%. But no one's out there voting or prioritizing hemoglobin A1C. Mm -hmm. They're prior prioritizing jobs, the economy, interest rates. And so we've got to figure out how the two of us up here mm -hmm. can work together and show folks that when you invest in health, you see not just health benefits, but you see benefits that accrue to the community from an economic point of view.